Hello, my name is Dr. Florence Renou Wilson from University College Dublin, and I am the lead principal investigator on the Orca project, which looked into the properties of Irish peatlands, how they can influence greenhouse gas emissions and removals. An auger is an instrument that helps us take soil samples all the way down to the bedrock or the subpeat mineral soils and finding the depth and the carbon and nutrient content of our peatlands has been critical in refining our estimate of how much carbon is stored in Irish bogs. In this project, we carried a nationwide survey of three peatlands types, visited 50 bogs, cored at 270 locations and analysed more than 2,000 soil samples. So what did we find? Well, to start with our champion, our natural race bog, one single hectare of natural race bog that is not disturbed and not drained, store about 3,000 tons of carbon. That's 10 times more carbon than the equivalent area of the rainforest. However, our results confirm that using our bogs intensively over the last century or so has led to a high subsidence and has resulted in the loss of peat and the carbon that the bogs had sequestered and stored over thousands of years. We estimated that the total amount of carbon stock held in Irish bogs to be an astonishing 2.2 billion tons of carbon. You will find the breakdown by peatland types and land use categories in our report. But of importance here is that natural bogs, those that have the least disturbance and that are protected at the moment, plus cutover bogs, those only affected by past peat cutting on the edges, contain half of that total carbon amount. However, drain bogs are forever stuck in autumn, decomposing the organic matter, decomposing the peat, releasing therefore the carbon back to the atmosphere. Here is a bit of good news though. When we re-wet these drain bogs, that is when they can be managed to sustain a high water table throughout the year, the bog switches rapidly to a net sink of CO2 and therefore accumulate carbon again. You will find lots of research in our report that provide evidence-based information for policy decisions in order to first ensure that these carbon stocks remain in the ground and two, promote the development of carbon sinks in all types of peatland land uses. So remember, bogs come in different shapes and we clearly have underestimated their depths. Also, their historical land uses have affected their properties. All peatland landowners must realize their importance and seek the best effective strategies for their bogs, depending on the functions that we want them to perform. But at a minimum, we must attempt to keep the water table relatively high so that the carbon remains locked up. And at best, strive to return them into natural carbon storage machine par excellence.